Come on. Oh, hell no. This is why I should have went home. Big ass candles on the floor, bro. I need to go home, make myself a lasagna, bro. What's up, guys? It's Sugar here. And today we're playing the Riverside Incident by none other than your boy Puppet Combo. It's a found footage story about a tape that was found by a group of kids and then brought into the police. That's all I know to be honest. I don't know what else kind of madness is in this tape, but if they needed to hand it into the police, bro, there's something wrong in this tape. But anyway, hope everyone's got their snacks. And let's get in this, bro. Where are we, bro? Are we we look like we're in an insane asylum. I'm gonna just be honest. This looks like we're in some fucking ghost adventures thing. Where's Zach Bagans at, bro? Zach! Bro, what kind of camera is this, man? Man, looks like he's like, using a fucking PSP camera. Bro, can my guy actually go a little faster, bro? My guy had broken legs or something. He's walking like someone smacked him in the knees. Let's check it out, bro. Usually all the shitters in every horror game are always disgusting, bro. That looks like a pure metal shitter right there, bro. I've never... Oh, imagine seeing on that, bro. The cold-ass metal against your cheeks. Jesus. That's just uncomfortable to think about. Of course, of course, there'd be a satanic imagery right here. What's that mean, bro? Has Lil Nas X been here, man? Nah, bro. Somewhere at 666 on the wall, bro. Definitely Lil Nas has been around here, man. Might be shaking it for the devil, bro. 7.15pm now. The time's gone forward. What am I doing walking around for fucking an hour? What the fuck? What the hell is that, bro? That sounds demonic. I told you, bro. Lil Nas X is around here, bro. He's going to start shaking it on me, bro. Ugh. Oh, my God. This is doctor's fucking raping someone, bro. What's going on in here? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know what that gives us saying. See, Public Combo likes to put real events and real TV shows on in the background of his games, man. So, I don't know what that's from. Bro, shut her up, bro. He's over with a metal pipe, man. Loud ass crying, bro. Bro, is he choking her out, man? Man, put her in a bulldog choke real quick. Oh, it's, oh, it's like a preacher. He's doing the exorcism. Open this door, bro. Man, use your hands instead of bumping your head into the door until it opens. Bro, why does it sound like fucking Harley Quinn? This girl on the radio, man. Well, Doc, let me put it to you. Oh, there's a big-ass knife right there. That's what you think is you should pick that up if, if you've been kidnapped, bro. No, none of them do it in every horror game. They don't pick up the knife, bro. I don't understand it, man. I'll be trying to arm myself like I'm a militia. If I was kidnapped, bro. I'd have 70 knives, bro, all over me, bro. I'd have fucking picking up cans like this to hit them over the head with. The creativity behind these public combo games is a mad is madness to me, bro. Too creative, bro. Man, turns out we're just a real estate agent trying to view a property to sell, man. I ain't no way you're selling this to nobody, bro. This place is disgusting. Uh, I've just teleported again. It's 9:40. Go home. Go home. Put some it. Put some on, bro. F get a f throw some burgers in the fucking pan and just have a meal. Go home. Staying at some weird abandoned place for two hours, bro. Big ass music playing in the background. Ghosts in here. Zach Bagans. Bro, just go home. I'll break through that window behind me to get my out, man. Should we go towards that weird creepy sound? Sounds like some olden day music. Bro, I ain't afraid of no ghost, man. Come on. Oh, hell no. This is why I should have went home. Big ass candles on the floor, bro. I need to go home, make myself a lasagna, bro. This is fucked. It's demonic, bro. 
ain't stepping in the middle of that. You think I'm Lil Nas, bro? I ain't fucking going in the middle of that. Man, if going in the middle of that, bro, I'm gonna get possessed by the demon, bro. This place is not the cleanest, man. Get someone in here to do some play, paint and decorating, man. Fucking hell. The buzzing's getting worse, man. This whole screen's buzzing. Demonic imagery on the floor. The eyeballs. Man, I'm gonna get possessed after playing this shit, bro. What does that mean when there's a, a circle of candles? Is that like a summoning ritual? Bro, I ain't no sightingist, so I can't tell you, bro. I do not know what that means. Eleven. Bro, I better not be still in that house, man. Wait, is this John Wick's house, bro? I swear it looks a lot like John Wick's house. It's definitely someone with some money, bro. Someone's got some money having this house, bro. You know, I always wondered about these houses, bro. Why would you have houses that have open windows so anyone could just look through the window? Walk downstairs butt ass naked, see some guy staring at you, bro. Nah, man, I ain't trying to have that. We're in the actual house, nah. Are we gonna murder someone? Is that the thing? How did we start in the hospital? Now we're in someone's house, bro. Looks like this was made in Minecraft as well, bro. Big ass squares. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's rich person art right there, bro. You can tell, man. Look at the meaning behind that. Square, 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 square equals bigger squares. Yo, wait, are we? We're definitely in the olden days, bro. Look at this phone, bro. It's built like an actual brick. You could build a house with that, bro. Look at the thickness and girth of that phone, bro. Making me jealous of how thick that phone is, bro. Whoa! I killed someone! Oh, I burnt the house down. Well, let's get out of here. Fuck! Run! Jesus. I burnt the whole fucking place down. And that's it. What kind of weird ass ending was that, bro? So, let's go through the storyline. I started in a weird hospital. Listening to some doctor talk to his patient, bro. Okay. That makes sense in some weird way. Then some demonic stuff started happening, bro. There's a big circle with a bunch of candles on it, bro. On the floor. Definitely worshipping Satan, bro. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is weird, bro. It's getting... Why am I staying in this place for a few hours, bro? But I must be so weird, guy. I'm probably just going to go home in like three hours or some shit, bro. Then it goes to 11, and I'm walking up on someone's house, bro. Looks like they've got at least few, uh, two million in the bank or some shit like that. Or a few million in the bank. Because that's an expensive-ass house, you can tell. But yeah, I'm walking up to the house. <laughs> I fucking break in the house. And I go up to where the person is. I drop the camera and choke them out, bro. Then set the whole place on fire. That's Riverside Incident for you. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, bro. If you like the video, smash the like button. Hit the notification button to keep up to date with all my content that I release for you guys. Where we do gameplays, funny moments, scary games, pretty much everything for your entertainment, bro. Hit me up in the comments, explain to me what's going on in this, bro. I don't understand it, man. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, and have a good-ass day.